Now, Prince Andrew was named on dozens of occasions in the Epstein files that were unsealed on Wednesday. And there has been growing pressure on King Charles to remove the royal title from his brother and to oust him from the royal family altogether, which would mean that he no longer could execute his royal duties and have no involvement or participation in royal gatherings. Well, joining us now is former royal correspondent for The Sun, Charles Ray. Charles, it's always a pleasure, but unfortunately this time, under somewhat sombre circumstances, the front pages of today's newspapers will make grim reading for the royal family, it seems. Now that the Epstein files have gone official and they're sworn into public record, no way back was the headline of one national newspaper today. Do you think that's the case? We've discussed this before many on many occasions, Martin, and I've always felt, and I think you've agreed with me, that there was never going to be a chance of Prince Andrew ever coming back yeah. as a member, a working member of the royal family. The problem you've got here, how do you kick him out of the family? It'd be like you or I being told by other members of our family, you're no longer wanted, you cannot cross this, uh, this threshold anymore for, for whatever reason. It, it is unreasonable to assume that the king would uh, ostracise him actually from the family. Although in saying that, the king is in a very difficult situation in so much as I think he made a very big mistake at Sandringham uh, when he allowed Andrew to walk down with the rest of the, the members of the family. That wasn't an official royal outing. That was a family outing. I think he should have told Andrew not to turn up and I think he may well regret that decision. And let's not forget, they knew then that these documents were likely to come out, and they're devastating, you know, accusing the Duke of York of an underage orgy, which he denies, but if there's an the accusation there in a sworn statement. Not a good look for it. Yeah, and Charles, of course, the late Queen, there was a £12 million payment to a charity reportedly to try and make this story go away. And yet here we are again, fresh allegations. And it seems likely, Charles, that there could be more bad news to come. Well, yes, because uh, these documents are going to be released on a rolling basis. Now, so far we know that Andrew has been named 69 times uh, in these documents as being with uh, Epstein, along with a whole load of other very famous people, mainly Americans, uh, uh, and, and we're going to find out if, it is, if, it, if he's likely to have been involved on in allegations of anything else. And one thing I'd like to say again, M Martin, is that he denies all these allegations, but the Metropolitan Police this afternoon have said that they're not going to investigate uh, anything because there's nothing new to investigate. Of all the alleged crimes that have happened, most of them are in the States. There's only one occasion which has come under, the, 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 if you like, the Metropolitan Police jurisdiction, which is where Virginia Giuffre, or Virginia Roberts as she was then, um, uh, said she had sex with Prince Andrew uh, at Gaylene Maxwell's London flat, 200 yards away from the pa Buckingham Palace Gardens. Uh, so they've, they've already knew about that. They're not investigating it. And I, I think the police should investigate Andrew for for the royal family's sake as well, to find out categorically whether or not he is guilty of these offences, which he denies. And Charles, of course, the anti-republic, um, Republican group, beg your pardon, Republic, yesterday reported Prince Andrew to the Metropolitan Police. The Metropolitan Police responded, saying they'd already looked into these allegations, nothing new was coming to light. And anyhow, it was in America, the allegations in question, so therefore it was out of their jurisdiction. But I wanted to ask you, Charles, if we are to see um, Andrew being frozen out of the royal family even more, what might that look like? I mean, there has been some, um, some talk, for example, of him being kicked out of his royal residences. Well, yes, this is something that the king has tried to do once before, and that's reached a stalemate. And the stalemate involves Andrew being able to continue to pay for the upkeep and the repairs uh, on uh, Windsor Lodge, which amount to run something like £2 million a year. Now, we don't know how much money Andrew has got in his bank account or in his piggy bank. Uh, and I think the king will try again to oust him from Windsor Lodge, but he'll still have to have a house somewhere, and I suspect it will be 
the Frogmore Cottage, uh, which he's tried to get him into before, which is um, Harry and Meghan's former former home. I mean, Windsor Lodge is 10 bedrooms and 98 acres. He doesn't need 10 bedrooms and 98 acres. You know, he's there with his wife. And Andrew is a very arrogant man, and he loves he loves to keep all his uh, royal um, trappings. Now, he's lost his HRH. He's no longer allowed to use it. He's lost his military and his charity uh, links. He's got nothing, nothing at all, apart from riding his horse in Windsor Great Park. And I think the king's going to have to sit down and have a big review on Andrew's future uh, in terms of within the royal family. Not kick him out of the royal family because you can't do that, but it's certainly going to be curtailed in many ways, I would have thought.